Okay, so Hicksfield just dropped a ton of new tools. A lot of you have been asking me about video face swap and character swap in the comments section of my previous video. Well, they're here. And honestly, they're pretty good for quick swaps. So let me show you exactly what I mean. When you land on the Higgsfield app, you'll click this character tab right here. This is the new hub where they've organized all the character and swap features. Now, we've already covered face swap for images on the channel before. I'll link that tutorial for you in the description. But in this video, we're focusing on these new video tools. First, you've got video face swap. It's technically part of the recast engine, but it's simplified. You just give it your source video and a target face image and it generates the face swap for you. Simple and effective for quick face replacements. But this, Recast Studio, this is where the real opportunity is for content creators. This is the full stack workflow. You start with your source video right here, then you can select character and you can scroll through all of these presets or even upload your own. Then you go to voice and dubbing. You can clone your own voice or choose a preset. And right below, you can auto-dub that video into different languages, all with automatic lip sync. And then you can even swap the background. This isn't just a face swap. This is a total character replacement to create a completely new video from your original. But what if I told you the real secret, the pro-level workflow, isn't just swapping a face on your own video? What if you could take content that's already viral and legally repurpose it, multiply it, and email it any new audience or demographic you want. That's exactly what this video is about. We're not just reviewing features, we're building a complete content workflow. We're gonna focus specifically on this one, Recast Studio. I'm going to show you how to take one single piece of content and turn it into 10, 20, or even 30 plus variations. We're talking different characters, different backgrounds, and even different languages, all from that one original clip. And yeah, the timing on this is pretty wild. Hicksfield's having this insane Black Friday sale right now. By the end of this tutorial, you'll see why people are so hyped. I've even got a link for an extra discount on top of their sale price. Check the description to see if you are eligible. But honestly, forget the everything for a minute. Watch this workflow first, because this is the part that will actually change how you make content. To show you, I took this 12 second master clip. First, let's just play it so you know exactly what we're working with. People are asking if AI will replace creators. That's the wrong question. The real question is how it multiplies our output. It's not a replacement, it's a multiplier. Now, I chose this video very specifically. Of course, the script is about content multiplication, which is perfect. But more importantly, look at this. The subject is using a ton of hand gestures. AI tools are, well, they're terrible with hands. It's just like how AI images used to be but Higgsfield claims that this is the most realistic swap out there. So we're taking this video as our example to really put that to the test. Okay, test number one. Let's say I want to target a new demographic, maybe senior management or an older, more authoritative audience. They tend to trust authority. So let's try this elderly man character. This one looks good. And remember, you can also upload your own photo to create a custom character, which is incredibly powerful. For voice and dubbing, I'm going to keep original for this first test. And for background, you have all these options. But look, there's even a green screen. This is perfect. It means I can replace it with my own studio photo or any branding I want. Okay, let's hit generate. All right, so that result, it took me maybe three or four minutes, and that is so worth the wait. Think about it. You are creating a brand new video from a single reference instead of having to reshoot it all. But let's see the result. How did it handle those hands? People are asking if AI will replace creators. That's the wrong question. The real question is how it multiplies our output. It's not a replacement, it's a multiplier. Okay, let's look closer. Look at that, the hand movement, it's real. It's not glitching, it's not melting, it's perfectly tracking my original performance. This is the most realistic, high fidelity character swap, or as they call it, Recast Studio, I have ever seen. Now, what if I want to go in a completely different direction? You can use any of your own custom characters, ones that no one else has, upload them here and recast your viral video. For this test number two, I'm going to take this comical character. And this time, I'm also giving it a new voice. Let's go with Andrew. And I'll change the background again. Let's hit generate. 
So this generation was taking a little longer, maybe about 7 minutes. But at the same time, I gave it another command. The same comical character, but with the green screen background. So in about 7 minutes, I got two new videos. Let's see them. People are asking if AI will replace creators. That's the wrong question. The real question is how it multiplies our output. It's not a replacement, it's a multiplier. This one is just so good. Look at it. The comical character has exactly copied everything. The dialogues, the expressions, and most importantly, the hand movements. And now, here's that green screen version I did. People are asking if AI will replace creators. This is so useful. You just download this and in your video editor, you can remove that green screen and replace it with anything you want. So let's just recap what we did. We took one 12 second clip and in about 10 minutes, we created three completely new videos from it. We changed the character, we changed the background, we changed the voice, we added a green screen. That is the record once repurpose infinitely workflow. That is the real power of Recast Studio. Now, if you're going to try this, I have a few pro tips for you to get the best results. First, your source video matters. Just like mine, make sure your face is well lit, looking at the camera and not full of shadows. The AI needs to see your features clearly. Second, for the hands, this is key. The reason my results look so good is that my original hands were always in the shot and well lit. Don't let your hands fly out of the frame or get hidden in shadows. And finally, don't be afraid to experiment. Run the generation two or three times with different characters. Sometimes one model will just click with your performance better than another. This is a creative tool, so be creative. I really want you to feel the power of this for yourself. So I have three promo codes and I want these codes to go to the people who will really use them. So to enter, I need you to do one simple thing. Go to the comments and tell me what your job role is. Are you a social media manager, a VTuber, a video editor, a marketing agency owner? And in that same comment, tell me how you would use this record once workflow to change your process. I'll be reading every single one and we'll announce the winners in a pinned comment right here in a week. And for everyone else, don't forget, that Black Friday sale is still live. I've put my personal discount link in the description below so you can still get the best possible deal on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.